my chums, it's Sin, and welcome back to our family. Um, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you're new to this channel and you want to be a part of this family, just hit the subscribe button down below. Also, click the notification bell beside it for you to be updated with my latest uploads. Also, don't forget to like, share this video, and comment down below. So, guys, if you notice, I wear the same shirt. Then, sa nagbi ako um sa kanta ni Bella Fortune of Build a Bitch. Because it's the same day I recorded it. Now, I na recorded the reaction video ko kay uh, Bella Porch. And then after that, we re natin. Young, as you can see from the title of this video, Rabia Mateo's um, uh, National Costume Swimsuit and the Long Gown Competition. Miss Rabia Mateo is actually Miss Universe Philippines, ang ating pambato sa Miss Universe 2021. And we all know kung gaano niya rin naman pinaghandaan ang Miss Universe. Okay, so ito na guys, ipi-play ko na. First, ay ang kanyang very controversial na national costume. Okay. We actually saw a picture already of the national costume na kanya pong isinuot. Look at the way she walks. Look how confident she is. I love that. Okay. Itong national costume niya actually ay naging um, controversial kasi super pinag-usapan siya dahil nga sa sobrang bigat daw nung pakpak na suot-suot niya. And one more thing ay yung pagdurugo ng kanyang left ata yun na paa. Actually, after this, after this national costume competition nag-IG Live, Si Miss Rabia. Sabi ko, I just wanna do a quick live <laughs> to tell you guys na I'm so sorry um, kung na-disappointment kayo sa akin but I know na I did my best. I even cut my finger earlier and yung stockings ko puno na din siya ng dugo <laughs> but I kept fighting <laughs> kahit wala nang oras. I didn't have time to retouch my hair, to retouch my makeup. <laughs> like, I was there. I was running for pins. I was running for scissors for everything just to be able to execute you know, the costume really well. <laughs> Kaya, maraming maraming salamat talaga guys ha. And I felt really great. Like, <laughs> feeling ko nung naglalakad ako, I was so beautiful. Nakita ko yung cheer ng mga judges. Nakita ko yung sigawan ng mga Pilipino. Kaya, um, nagpapasalamat talaga ako sa support. And then, umiyak siya doon. And then, she was saying na nagsusorry siya doon sa mga na-disappoint niya. And I don't think she really has to apologize. She did so well doon sa national costume competition. She did so well. She doesn't have to apologize. Pero yun kasi yung napipil na during that time na maraming na dis, marami siyang na-disappoint because nakadagdag pa kasi doon. Um, I'm not saying anything, pero parang nakadagdag pa kasi doon na si Miss Catriona Gray o oh, nag-tweet ata siya na um, chineer niya doon yung kanyang top 6 picks sa national costume and wala po doon ang Philippines. Wala doon. Hindi kabilang si Miss Ramia sa kanyang um, top 6 Picks, although nag-explain naman si Ms. Catrio na doon na yung top 6 niya daw ay based sa um, doon sa mga national costume na, na, na gustuhan niya, nagiliwan niya at hindi doon sa performance mismo ng candidate. At uh, marami din ng bash kay Catriona kasi sinasabi nila na bakit niya pa kailangang i-share yun. Sana daw, kinep na lang niya sa sarili niya kasi wala nga si Miss Philippines doon, wala si Miss Rebia sa kanyang top 6 picks. At baka nakabawas sa confidence ni, ni Miss Rebia yung tweet niya na yun. At yun nga, nagsusorry nga si uh, Rebia sa kanyang IG live na marami siyang na-disappoint. Ang dami kasi sa ating mga Pilipino, lang din, binabash natin yung isa't isa imbes na isupport natin yung um, yung 
yung nagre-representa sa ating bansa, ihahanap eh, pa tayo talaga no, ng bagay na pwede nating pang bash sa kanya. But anyway, I know Rabia is a strong woman. She is confident as she is. At ipinakita na she did really so well sa national costume and ipinakita naman niya na kahit anong mangyari is lalaban at lalaban pa rin siya. Dugoan na yung sa stockings niya and all pero tiniis niya, naglakad pa rin siya. And I also noticed yung heels, grabe ng sandals niya. I don't know how many inches is that. It, grabe. Ang, ang taas ng heels niya. That's why mapapansin natin sa kanyang paglakad na medyo, medyo hindi steady yung kanyang pag, paglakad kasi uh, feeling ko naka-apekto rin doon yung taas talaga ng, ng, ng sandals niya, yung heels ng sandals niya, yung shoes niya. Um, I'm not sure I'm not expert on this, pero yun yung napansin ko. Parang hindi steady yung paglalakad niya dahil sobrang taas ng shoes niya. Yung sa pakpak na suod niya, grabe, I, I felt her struggle carrying those Uh, that pair of um, wings na feel ko yung yung hirap niya habang buhat-buhat niya yun kasi she kept on holding here sa part na ito parang uh, hindi ko alam kung anong anong kwan pero dahil sa mabigat siya parang siguro iginaganon niya para siguro maibsan ko yung bigat kasi mapansin nyo she kept on um, holding or touching sa part na ito and dito yung parang ano ng pakpak and dun sa mga nagsasabi na um, sign of weakness daw yung She went um, live on IG after the national costume and she was crying and all. She was apologizing. Sinasabi nila na uh, naging mahina daw siya, kaya siya umiiyak. Guys, crying is never, never a sign or a symbolism of weakness. Uh, sabi nga niya, she was crying because she was overwhelmed by the support of the Filipino people, by the support of, um, of those who are there watching her and cheering her up. At uh, nagpapasalamat siya dun sa mga tao na talagang sumuporta sa kanya. Hindi siya um, umiiyak kasi hindi niya na-execute ng maayos yung kanyang um, dapat ginawa. She already uh, prepared a lot. She already went through a lot for this competition. So let's just put our trust on her. Ano pa ba? Dito pa sa national costume is mayroong nawawalang headpiece. Yung sun. No? But this was actually explained by... Miss Universe um, National Director Miss Shamsi Subsub, our very own Miss Shamsi Subsub, in explain niya sa uh, ABS-CBN News na for the headpiece na dapat isusuot ni Rabia na dapat yung sun kaso uh, it kept falling off kaya tinanong na lang nila si Rabia kung saan siya komportable baka kasi, baka naman pag pinilit nilang isuot yun is makuhulog lang din dun sa stage, makasira pa sa kanyang performance and also, tinanong na lang nila si Rabia kung saan siya mas komportable kaya hindi na lang din isunuot sa kanya kasi nakuhulog siya nung tinatry nilang isuot sa kanya yun, kaya dun sa mga nagtatanong saan na yung headpiece yun po yung rason pero after that, after national competition marami din naman nag-cheer up You know, kahit sa ating Miss Universe Philippines, Miss Rabia Mateo na um, um, artists, celebrities, uh, kanyang mga supporters, um, si na Miss um, MJ Lastimosa, um, nagbigay din sila ng tawag nito, encouragement and motivation and appreciation sa nagawa ni Miss Rabia Mateo sa national costume. So, ayun lang guys, let's move on sa kanyang swimsuit. Let's take a look. Ooh! Ooh, the hala, bit of walk. She's killing it. Ooh, cum laude. Wow. Look at the way she walks. She's getting it. She's hitting it. Wow, nice! Finally saw the real Halabira walk because I actually saw a few clips dun sa mga training niya nung, or mga practices niya nung naglalakad siya. Ang dami ding nagbabash sa kanya na more, more, kulang pa, ganito, konting lambot pa ng katawang, konting gewang pa ng baywang. But I know, I know, she's chillin. I know na Um, mas may papakita pa siya sa talagang competition, sa main competition. Kasi guys, ano ba kayo? Alam nga ang ipapakita niya lahat-lahat sa na, yung mga ano niya before the main competition, edi pag-aaralan na ng mga 
ibang candidate ng mga kalaban niya kung paano yung kanyang galawan at diskarte sa paglalakad, diba? And she killed it, she really killed it. That walk was so amazing. The swimsuit actually really fit her kasi, diba yung skin niya is hindi siya kaputihan pero since it's yellow, mas nag stand out yung kanyang Filipino skin tone pagiging um, kayumanggi and she's not really that kayumanggi pero parang nag stand out yung yung kulay niya because of the yellow color of her swimsuit and that was really a very nice performance I love how she confidently walked like she's already winning it she's already having it and she's really ready and prepared to wear that crown she deserves it. And uh, so far, she's doing really great. Alam niyo yun, parang tuloy, walang nangyari na issue sa kanyang national costume. And you see, she was, she's still confidently, um, she's still confidently doing her job to represent the country. And she's really doing her best. We can see that um, she's really doing what she can. She thinks that she can. She's really um, making us all proud. Let's now move on to the long gown. Actually, was um, alam nyo, I was looking forward really sa dalawang um, asa tatlong part ng competition na ito Miss Universe. The first one is the um, national costume um, competition. Kasi di ba usually sa Miss Universe yun yung mga nagiging controversial and kaabang abang talaga kung ano yung mga isusot nilang national costume. Kasi dun natin nakikita yung creativity ng isang bansa. Paano magre-reflect sa kanya Na, sa kanilang national costume, yung patriotism and um, yung talagang magre-represent sa, sa country ng candidate. Uh, second one is itong long gown kasi um, isa rin siya talaga sa mga nagiging controversial sa Miss Universe competition kasi dyan nila kinocompare-compare na kung papagandahan na sila ng, um, ng long gown. Actually, tumatak sa, talaga sa akin sa lahat na, naging Miss Universe competition yung kay Miss Pia words back that blue royal blue color it was actually really nice at yung um tawag na ito, yung details sa likod ng kanyang gown that was so nice it's pretty amazing how they actually came up with that um concept kung paano din nasinyahan yung kanyang gown ang ganda ng design yung kay ano naman kay Miss Catrio na grabe apakaganda ng red na long gown niya grabe super stunning and she was really looking so gorgeous and really she was walking like a queen already during that long long competition talagang napakaganda talagang kakaibang dating ng red na gown niya at yung design na actually inspired daw by lava at uh, if I'm not mistaken kaya nga lava walk din yung yung walk niya tinawag na lava walk yun yung aking masasabi so inaabangan ko din talaga itong um, long gown competition ng Miss Universe. So, okay guys, so ito na ang kanyang evening gown. Alright, let's take a look. So it's laid up, Peru. I think we need to make some friends here. So mm. Say hello to Philippines! Babia has a degree in physical therapy but plans to eventually go back to wow. school and become a pediatrician. At the height of the pandemic, this 24-year-old volunteered to make PPE and coach for frontline workers. Thank you. Wow. She's stunning. Bagay na bagay talaga sa kanya yung yellow kasi nagsistand yung color niya. Last but not least, Poland. Look at the way she walks. incredible ladies let's yeah. keep it going for our next group of contestants next up we have okay Portugal. i think i have a few things to say about the gown and her performance but first of all, I don't have any intention to compare Miss Rabia to the former Miss Universe Philippines in a you know negative way. Pero yung yung difference kasi ni ng when it comes to the facial expression ni Miss Rabia and Miss Pia and Miss Catriona is na Miss Pia kasi and Miss Catriona. Um, they, their faces can be maamol at the same time fierce, but more on fierce look. Kaya Miss Rabia, her face is so maamo and. In 
innocent. Uh, what actually made her stand out sa part na yun is actually, uh, maamo yung mukha niya, pero ma-feel mo sa kanya, sa face niya, that she is confident. She is really a fighter. Gusto niyang magbigay ng isang strong performance, despite the fact na napakaamo ng kanyang mukha. Kung baga, hindi niya kailangang uh, maging uh, fierce, magpakita ng fierce look, para maramdaman mo na palaban ka. When it comes naman dun sa kanyang gown itself, actually marami na naman sigurong nambabash dyan na bakit yellow of all colors. Alam mo yung anong, anong gusto nyo? Pink? Orange? Brown? <laughs> What's wrong with the yellow color? As I was saying earlier dun sa kanyang swimsuit, the yellow color actually fits her kasi nagsistand out yung color niya and she was actually was able to carry the color. I actually love yung details dun sa upper. Mayroon ding details dito sa sa part na to. Hindi naman siya super plain na yellow lang and all. And uh, I don't see anything wrong with it. She's looking so gorgeous with that yellow color. So, ano bang gusto niyong kulay? Edi sana kayo na lang nag-provide, di ba? <laughs> siguro ang masasabi ko lang pa dun sa gown is, pa, siguro parang honestly, pa, medyo nakulangan lang ako dun sa movements nung gown. I think, um, uh, sana mayroon pa siyang ginawa para magamit niya yung, di ba, parang may tail siya, something na, parang cape. <laughs> is that how you call it? Is that what you call it? Parang may something cape or buntot siya doon. Um, for me, sana mas nagamit pa siya. Mayroon pa sana siyang ginawa whatsoever para uh, maka-add doon sa performance. Magkaroon ng um, konti pang or additional effect. But sabi ko nga, I'm not expert on this. I'm just sharing my thoughts and opinion. Pagdating naman sa kanyang hairstyle, I don't see anything wrong with the hairstyle. Kisa naman super straight lang siya, na wala man lang ka-effect-effect. Ano bang gusto nyo? Magpusod siya? Itaas niya? Ano bang, ano bang gusto nyo yung hairstyle na dapat na ginawa niya? It's actually good. It has, there's nothing wrong with the curly or wavy hairstyle niya. Ano mo masama? She was actually stunning and looking so gorgeous. And if I may add, I also like the pair of earrings that she was wearing. That's, that's nice. Ang ganda. I am contented with the performance. With the, I am contented with whatever she has shown during the entire competition so far. Gantay na lang tayo guys and let's just pray na mapabilang siya, di ba, dun sa top 21. Uh, time, huwag na natin masyadong dinadaon pa kasi uh, sasabihin nyo pa na nabawasan yung kanyang confidence and all the sa national costume issue tapos nawala na siya ng confidence sa, sa swimsuit and sa evening gown wala, I don't, I didn't see no, na I didn't see any moment or any part of the swimsuit competition and evening gown na nawalan siya ng confidence hindi, hindi nag-reflect, sabihin na natin na somehow siguro naka-apekto yung nangyari sa national costume pero hindi ko naman nakita ang nag-reflect sa kanyang sa kanyang mukha ayun lang guys let's just continue cheering her up and giving our support all the ladies are actually incredible and they actually did their very best during the entire competition so far so let's just hope for the best for our Miss Universe Philippines Miss Rabia Mateo ibigay na lang natin ang ating mga suporta and let's just um, pray that she will be able to to win the crown. She is doing her very best to actually uh, make all of us proud. Sabi nga niya, di ba, I may or may not win the crown, but one thing is for sure, I'm going to make the Filipinos proud. All Filipinos proud. Sinabi yan mismo ni Ms. Rabia Mateo. So, uh, alam mo yun, magtiwala na lang tayo na um, magagawa niya kung ano makakailangan niyang gawin wag na nating i-press pala yung pressure sa kanya kasi she already went through a lot as I said uh, preparing for this competition and she is still going through a lot during the entire competition and until this competition um, ends so yun na lang bigyan na lang natin ang ating full support sa ating pambato and let's just hope that she will be able to bring home the big go Philippines Watching. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. You can also share it if you want to say something about this video. Please leave a comment. Bye. See you again in my next one.